Let's take a look at the biggest market movers right now. We're watching Tesla, and Tesla is down. It's falling to a two and a half year low on reports that the NTSB, that autopilot, was engaged in the fatal March crash. We'll cover that further later on in our show. And look at Under Armour seeing some nice gains after receiving an upgrade to overweight from JP Morgan. It's gaining almost 8%. Deer falling after posting earnings that did miss the analyst estimates by 10 cents a share. That's down 6%. The company also slashed its full year forecast as agricultural markets weigh on its business. And we're taking a look at Baidu. Baidu is tanking on the day after missing its estimates on both the top and bottom line. And we'll be certainly talking about that one in just a moment. But for now, let's get right to some stock picks, some stock shorts. Melissa Armos here, founder and owner of The Stock Swoosh. It's great to see you. Good morning. So what are you thinking? What's your market mantra these days? I mean, we're down four weeks in a row, but we've had a great 2019. Earnings were decent. And now we have an outlook that's somewhat uncertain. How Definitely. are you feeling? Yeah, I would say from January 1st, literally until the last day of April, the market was an angel. The market rallied virtually. If you had bought the market the first of the year, you were up even if you just didn't even look at anything for four full solid months. We made so many new highs, which was great. Then all of a sudden, for, as soon as May started, this is even before the tariff in China issue came up again, they had some, the Fed came out, the market hit new highs in the S&P, dropped, fell, and we've never seen that number since. So I would say right now, currently, the market, I believe, holds the uptrend, but expect volatility now to be in play, not just the last two weeks, but continuing into the summer. I don't think we're going to get back to those easy peasy times, which right. was the first four months of the year. So volatility here to stay for here some time. Stay. And, you know, if you sold in May and went away, <laughs> you would have done great, right? If you didn't, uh, you know, try and stick it out. So let's talk about some of your picks. I mean, Disney is one that, you know, to buy over at City. They have this recent deal now for Hulu. They've had so much going on. The stock's been near highs. They have a target of uh, 161 on Disney. So you still like Disney, even though I it's run up so Disney. much. If you look at the way Disney has acted in the last two weeks when the market dropped off, Disney was perfect. Yeah. I mean, Disney is definitely one of my top picks for 2019. I see that stock hitting 200. I don't know if it'll happen by the end of the year, but I think 160 is a low number. I mean, 150 probably near short-term target today. I think it was over three, 134, and it was just rallying today. I mean, anytime the market rallies, Disney's rallying, but Disney's rallying even days, and it's holding the rally even days the market is falling. So when you have a strong stock that's not moving that much to the downside when the market is falling, that gives you conviction. It gives you conviction in the position and the strength in the stock and the fact that people, the buyers are in there and they don't want to let up on their, they don't want to sell. Okay. Right. And the question is how well they'll do with all their new service, Disney Plus. Yes. You know, how will it really, will it take market share away from Netflix or will people just buy both, you know? I think people are going to buy both. People still like Netflix. But again, you've seen right. volatility in Netflix the last two weeks with the market. And Netflix has been reacting and falling with the overall market. I still like Netflix right. chart. Netflix is still in an uptrend. I wouldn't buy Netflix right now or out of the gate today. But like Disney, I mean, really, honestly, yeah, Disney, you, said you can buy Yeah, 135 right now. That's yeah, 135. We're 134 this morning. That's All right. Ulta Beauty, one that has been an unbelievable run up. All about beauty products. The margins on these types of things are good for the company. Mm -hmm. uh, the stock is up one and a quarter percent at 347 today. Um, and I'll tell you, Morgan Stanley likes it, too. They have a 375 target on it. That, I wouldn't be shocked if one of these earnings reports, again, there's a couple more earnings reports between now and the end of the year, I wouldn't be surprised if that stock got up to 400. That stock can move. That stock can really move. In fact, that stock looks like it's about ready to break out. It may not even make a new high today. I, the market's drifting off a little bit here, mm -hmm. but that recently was up back at the highs. Another one that has been so strong when you look at the way that the market has fallen off. In two weeks, that stock has not moved a budge. It's interesting how... Uh, some people become afraid to get in stocks that have really run up. And I don't mean 10 percent. I mean 20, 30, 40, 50 That's crazy. Why? It's strength. That's strong. Why would you be afraid to buy something that's strong? That's crazy. 
Oh, okay. Because I think the opposite feel like of that. Cha- they feel like maybe they're chasing a name like Ulta or Disney that have been great players. I'm not saying buy at the high. I'm saying There's buy strength, buy momentum. I'm saying right. buy the gap. I look at gaps. So when a gap happens, when a stock gaps up, I look at the gap, I rate the gap. If I feel that that gap's going to hold, it's a good place to buy. Even if it's run up, boom, boom, boom. Right. I don't necessarily buy pullbacks because you'd be buying then the selling and you don't know where the selling's going to stop. And that's the problem right now with the market. People are buying this market. And if we dip off, one, we're one tweet away from the market falling right. off again, and people that bought in the last three days may get hurt if the market falls off again, which at any point in time could happen because the volatility is here, and it's not going away anytime soon. All right, quick on Costco and Cisco, and then we got to get to the shorts. Okay, yeah, the, the shorts. <laughs> Well, those are two strong stocks, too. And Costco looks like it's going to break out again. And Cisco had earnings yesterday, and that was following through nicely this morning. That had a really nice run-up yesterday. Gapped up on the 50-period moving average, held, rallied virtually into the close. That stock looks higher. That stock mm-hmm. looks very nice after the earnings Yeah, yesterday. Cisco had a nice earnings beat. Those were definitely winners. How about some of the names that you are shorting at this time? I mean, they've had a hard time. So you're looking at Lyft and Uber. I'm telling you. That, those IPOs that came out, they just tanked. They tanked on the IPOs. I mean, to me, when you look at this again, talk about people want to buy these stocks because they pulled back, but they've, they've performed terribly ever since the IPOs on Lyft and Uber. When you look at the stocks, not just the day that it came out, but how they've reacted ever since. Right, right. So I would say these stocks are lower, at least for the short term. Now, if you're a long-term buyer, I say it's really more like speculation if you would buy those stocks at any point right now in the next six months because of the because of the negative reaction that they've had right. from the IPO coming out and because of the fact that they've drifted off. And again, the markets will fall some more and they will fall with the market like everything else. Unless you're a long-term hold in these stocks and you think, like the guy said, he's like, oh, Uber's going to be the next Amazon. I right. laughed and laughed and laughed. So, like anything would ever be Amazon to me. I mean, seriously. Well, Baidu is not Amazon. Definitely not today. It's down 15%. This is your last short. Yeah, that one is tanking. And that if that if that breaks 125, that could go easily down to 120. I mean, that that stock can move. We're talking about stocks can move. Yeah. That stock can move. OK, I mean, that stock could fall ten dollars in a day. I don't know if it does today, but I'm saying the way that that looked huge move down in the earnings between right. last night and today's open huge, massive gap down. Who's going to buy that? That stock looks like it's tanking. And again, the market was rallying this morning, and that was falling. And it's down 15%. Exactly. Right. Melissa Armo, founder and owner of The Stock Swoosh. Great me. to see you. Thank you so much. Coming up next, I sit down with the NASDAQ's global head of sustainability to talk the new guide of ESG. That's next on the watch list here on the TD Ameritrade Network.